Hello, everybody, and welcome to our daily devotional time together. I am Allie Cobb, Director of Family Ministries here at St. John's United Methodist Church, and welcome to our daily devotional time together. This is our point midday where we get to pause together as a community of faith, share in the Upper Room Daily Devotional with one another, share in some prayer, scripture, and reflection. So if you're joining me now live or a little bit later on in the day, if you wouldn't mind leaving a comment below, we always like to know who stopped by, and welcome to your daily devotional time. Today is Thursday, September 12th. 2024. Hope everybody's having a good start to their Thursday. We take classes um, in the evening, Monday through Thursday, and my Thursday night class just got canceled today. I'm sorry that the instructor is feeling poorly, but kind of happy I have the night that I get to stay at home. So, selfish reasons, I'm happy. Um, we will be in the book of John today, so if you would like to follow along, we will be in the book of John. Um, if not, feel free just to listen along as well. Good morning, Linda. It's good to see you today. Give all of our friends a few more minutes to hop on before we begin. Okay. Well, we will get started. Um, John chapter 1, verses 1 through 9, and I'll be reading of the New Revised Standard Version updated edition. And here is our scripture for today. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life. And the life was the light of all people. The light shines in darkness, and darkness did not overtake it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe in him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light which enlightens everybody was coming into the world. Our focus verse for today is Ephesians 5.8 of the NIV, which reads, We were once darkness... Where there was once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as a child of light. Our thought for today is Jesus is the source of our power and light. And our devotion, prayer focus, our, sorry, our devotion writer today is Tom from Kansas. And these are the thoughts that he is sharing with us today. Guiding light. My two cats, Jasper and Monica, love to sleep on my bed. It is a warm place that they feel reassured knowing I'm nearby. But some evenings, Monica will fall asleep in some other room of the house, and I miss bedtime together. She will awaken in the dark of night and not know where she is or how to find me. She calls out pitifully for me to rescue her. Often she is nowhere to be seen, backed into a corner or stuck under furniture. But I don't need it to find her. I turn on the light in each room just long enough for her to find her way. Then she joins me and all is well. That is a rather silly story, but aren't we all somewhat like Monica? We have a comfortable and reassuring place with God, but sometimes we fall asleep and find ourselves lost. All it takes is a light is a little light from God to guide us. God sent Jesus as the light of the world so that all who believe can find their way to reassuring presence of God. There are moments when just a little of God's light reflected through us can make all the difference for someone. And our prayer focus for today is to reflect God's light in the world. Um, as you all know, so our devotion writer today had two cats, Jasper and Monica. Um, I have two Goldens, uh, Sherman and Sage. Uh, they are, they're the best. <laughs> I absolutely love them, um, each for their own unique reasons. Um, yes, I kind of tend to favor Sherman a little bit more than Sage, um, but I love her too in her own unique way. Um, Sherman's just a big floppy boy and I love him for it. Um, but in the evenings when I'm not at home because um, I'm at class, um, sometimes I have something to do for St. John's, but most of the evenings these days are taken up by um, me doing things for schoolwork and everything. My husband will send me pictures of Sherman curled up on the couch that is supposed to be my spot. He's keeping my spot warm for me. 
he likes my smell, I guess, but he always is in my spot and everything when I'm not there. And when I get home and everything, um, he curls up there with me. He is a bright spot of my day. I was talking with somebody the other day and they're like, what is your thing? Like the thing that re-energizes you. Um, my little things that, you know, recharge myself are going to the gym and then having the two goldens and everything. But the thing with Sherman is he, he's just great. <laughs> um, we heard from somebody that when they go to pick out therapy dogs, they go into the litter, like the little puppy litters and everything, and they turn them, the puppies on their backs. And the ones that like don't wiggle or squirm and they just kind of like let you like, you know, flop them around and everything. They just kind of like, you know, go with it and everything. Those are normally the ones that are selected to be the best therapy dogs because they're just very gentle um, nurturing dogs. So I wanted a gentle nurturing dog. Not that all dogs aren't. So when we went to go get Sherman, and everything um we kind of did that as like our own little like version of test we were like seeing like which puppies and everything just kind of you know just flopped on their backs and everything and that was Sherman he just flopped on his back and everything he was the most laid-back boy and he still is I can just look over at him right now and he's just asleep um and everything he's doing his job he's sleeping um but he's just such a great boy but the point to the story is is that Sherman loves car rides it is his highlight of his day is to come and pick up the kids and he starts getting antsy when the kids aren't here like when like they go away with um, grandma and grandpa for like a week he starts whimpering near the door and everything because the kids aren't here and everything he wants to go get them and everything so by about two o'clock each day he starts getting a little nervous and everything and like ready for the kids so he comes to school pickup every single day and Sherman is well known in the school pickup line Everybody pets Sherman. Sherman is beloved. And the reason why we don't take Sage is because Sage gets car sick. She hates the car. So if I took her for a ride, that would be a punishment. Where Sherman, he actually loves the car rides. He would be sad and insulted if we left him at home. But he is just such a sweet boy and everything. And I will not tell you how many teachers just come up and everything in the school pickup line when we have Sherman. And they just tell him, Sherman has their problems of the day and they thank me on a continuous basis for bringing Sherman and everything because he's just a little bright spot in their day and everything. He's the unofficial therapy dog of the carpool lane pickup and everything. And there have been some hard mornings um, after a world events and everything in the school in the world and everything. And I'll bring Sherman, you know, for like school drop off or something. And the teachers just love on him. There's been mornings where I just have to like pull off to the side. And I just let them come to the car and just pet him and everything. He really is just such a good boy. But he is like a little light in the school pickup lane and everything. Um, they are disappointed on the days that I do not bring him. And I say this because we all have those little things, those little sources of light within our lives. Um, it might be a pet. Um, it might be somebody I remember growing up in church. There was um, an older couple that sat behind us. I don't even remember their names, but they sat behind us. But when I would like hug my dad and like be in his lap, I would see them from like behind. And the guy always winked. And so like I would always like try and like wink back at him and everything. And that's how I finally learned how to wink and everything it was because he would like wink. And so like I would like spent church service like trying to like learn how to wink <laughs> and everything. But I remember him and he was a bright spot and everything. Sherman's the bright spot of the school pickup lane and everything. There was a crossing guard at my kids' school who was just always so jovial and so friendly and everything. And I waved to him each morning. But there are just these little pieces of light. Um, throughout our lives that are scattered and sometimes you have to look for them they're not always easily there and easily available but there's these little pieces of light and everything and it's God there to remind us that we are not alone that there is joy there is happiness there is light within our world there's supposed to be joy and happiness within our world um, and everything so as you go forth and everything just look for those little pieces of light those little reminders those little remembrances that you are in fact not alone in this world that you know God is there um, bringing you little bits and pieces of joy and light throughout your day so let us close in prayer ever-present God thank you for sending us Jesus to light our way may we take every opportunity to show others the light of your love in your name we pray amen
Well, thank you, Barbara, and thank you, Barb and Chris Mueller, for joining me today. I hope everybody has a great rest of their Thursday, and I will see you back here again next time. Take such care. Bye-bye.